All right, Coach Ryan, eight matches to two against Edinburgh. Pretty dominating. First off, Ray Garden. How'd that feel at the end, man? Listen, Ray's got a 3.7 GPA in engineering. You know, he's a senior. It was his last college match because Tav will be back next week. And to see him go out like that, it's, hey, he won his last college match. Who can say that? 3-8. Uh, he's helped so many people, Ray, in our program. Every, 97, heavyweight, 84. Anyone needs a partner, Ray is always there. He's a great student. He's first class. And the whole team was excited when he got his win. Yeah, he was 0-7. He gets a, he gets his first win of the season. That was yeah. pretty exciting to see. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, the big matchup. Logan completely dominates Mitchell Port. Um, comes back from last week where he said he faded in the third period and he felt yeah. like almost helpless yeah. and rectifies some things. Listen, you know, Gardens is really tough, obviously. Port is a great wrestler. I think some of the rankings have him as a top five, top six guy, pound for pound. I mean, that guy can flat out wrestle. So, I mean, Logan, Logan, Logan understands... Uh, preparation uh, and and he really was ready today because he knew he needed to be ready today against a, a, an athlete he really respects so because it's far from over right there's five weeks left uh, you know we, we got in a couple of attacks and didn't finish um, there were a couple of breaks in the match so so Port is uh, a tough guy that we, we got to make sure that you know, we continue to prepare for and we will so so Logan will only get better from here to the end of the year he does every year and uh, you know, that's the plan the three guys I really want to punch, see punch through, like all Ohio people want to see, is obviously Johnny DeJulius. Yeah. You know, redshirt junior. Uh, Josh DMS, fifth-year senior. Yeah. And, of course, Kenny Quartz. Yeah. Everybody wants to see those guys all American. You know, Johnny much better. You know, Johnny obviously didn't have shop tonight, but Johnny's doing a better job at pursuing the next point. Demas and Quartz got to continue to not look to do what they need to do. Uh, they need to really continue to score points out there and just and just not try to win close. You know that that's that's going to nip you in the butt tonight. It did. Uh, we 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 got a win against the Minnesota guy far, you know, last week with a with a, with a last 15, 20 second takedown, and he just has way more in him than he's than he's showing right now. And uh, so we're looking forward to Kenny picking it up. He's got to pick it up. Uh, and the same thing with Demas. You know, I think the big three though, these three freshmen are just that's the type of wrestling. That sells tickets and people want to see Tomasello, Jordan, and Snyder, and they're all continually improving. Is there any question in your mind that all three of those guys can't win the NCAAs, the big three? No, none. Not, not, not at all. It's just the internal internal belief, stay healthy, and continue to do the things they've been doing. And I think today also a shout out. I mean, this is an area loves wrestling. This school's got an amazing tradition, right? The place is packed. They come to see great wrestling here. So uh, great job by Flynn and the staff, you know, to continue to, to be a program that you can see people love the People have to watch wrestling up here, so. Hunter Steber made weight today. Yeah. What's that say about how you guys are training him and how his preparation's coming for Big Tents? Well, I mean, I can just tell you he's, he's in way better shape now than he was the last time he was on the mat. Um, you know, his attitude is, is really good. His attitude is right where it needs to be. I'm gonna get the job done. And there was a period of time where I think he was con really concerned and he was wavering on, on, on what direction he should go. Really happy with him in the runs in the morning. He's flying the lifts. Uh, so, um, you know, you're up against it when you're not in there all year, right? So to say that this is, you know, he's in great shape and is really going to be ready, you, I mean, having matches, right, is critical. But if anyone can do it, it's this guy. I mean, you know, he's a guy that was, what, 30-0 and 0 going into the national semifinals two years ago. I mean, this is a guy that can flat out wrestle. So uh, he had a little bit of weight issues because of the lack of training. He had a little bit of conditioning issues. I think we get those two things squared away. And... Like I said, if there's anybody that can do it, my faith is in Hunter Steber. Jeff Steber and I were talking today, and he didn't really understand the qualification process. Top 27 qualify a spot for their conference. We counted. I believe there's seven in the Big Ten who have that. He can steal one of their spots, yeah. and it, or if he doesn't qualify, he can make weight at the conference, and then he can actually get a wild card. Is that true? Uh, he's going to have to be a certain standard. So Hunter Steber is going to have to take someone's spot most likely. Because he hasn't had the number of matches. 17. He's, 17. He's not gold or silver standard. You have to have certain requirements to be put on the board to get a wild card. So despite the fact that he's a, one of the best guys in the country the last two years, that's not going to help him uh, in terms of earning a wild yes. card. So he's going to have to take someone's spot. He's got to steal a spot. Yeah, now he's going to steal a spot. Now the athlete whose spots he takes can get in. They can get a in a wild card. card. Right. And the right. Big Ten, it's more, more Big likely. Ten, right, more likely. I mean, there's some good guys in there. So he's going to have to do that in order to uh, to get a shot at winning a, you know, a national championship. Any thoughts on Iowa City next weekend? I, I know, just looking forward to it. Look, wrestling, I know I'm, 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 I'm one of the, the, the people that believe so strongly the sport of wrestling needs a culmination 
uh, to the dual meet season, right? You need a crescendo. The dual meet season has to come to a finale. We're excited it's in Iowa City. We're looking forward to, as coaches uh, and administrators, doing something that makes the dual meet critically important throughout the year. So, so uh, you know, big matches next week. Glad that it's in Iowa City and glad that there's a, there's a dual meet championship um, you know, next week. Mizzou potential rematch? Mizzou, Lehigh, we're not sure how it's going to go, but uh, whoever it is, you know, we got the rest. All right, Coach, you got anything else? No, thanks. Thanks for the time. Thanks.